What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vega, and today we're gonna be talking about the top 10 sneakers that I purchased in 2021. Not your grandma, not Ricky over there, not Robert. Shout outs to Robert over there. I see you, boy. Bruh. I purchased these, so of course, this is my list, man. If uh, for whatever reason the funds were unlimited, then the list probably would look a little bit different. If I would have hit on more stuff, if I was more lucky and not stroke out all the time the list would have been a little bit different but i'm really really happy with what i got for 2021 so i wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys but before we get into the video if you haven't done it by now go ahead and subscribe smash the like button it really does mean a lot and also hit that bell that way you get notified every single time i drop a video with that out of the way let's get right into the video Starting at number 10, a little bit of a curveball for you guys, but Nike had a great year. When it comes down to the Nike by You program, I was able to customize a couple of uh, Nike Air Force Ones, and I wanted to incorporate these in the list because I wore them a lot, and including a lookbook also. But I wanted the Chicago colorway in the Air Force One. I also added the sale laces. I actually like these a lot, man. I do have the Jordan ones in the Chicago colorway, but the 2013 version, which means that it has the Jumpman and the cut is a little bit different than the ones that came out later in 2015. Now, here's the thing. Of course, it's kind of the same colorway. Well, it is the same colorway, but I wanted something in the low top version. I wanted something that I can wear all the time and these definitely do the trick. So at number 10, we have the Nike Air Force One and the Chicago colorway. At number nine, we have have a very underrated sneaker one that doesn't really get a lot of love in 2021 but it is definitely a classic and I feel that five years ago it would have gotten even more love but it is what it is I'm talking about the Nike Air Moab this is my number nine pick I actually did a review on these and I think it's a fire sneaker it is an OG colorway of course it is designed by Tinker Hatfield and like I said on the review this is one of those kicks that I didn't get to have it last time that they dropped. I regretted it for whatever reason. Maybe another drop happened and I had to get those. But either way, they came back in 2021. I had to get them. I feel that they look so clean with certain outfits and they're so different than your average sneaker. Then that's the reason why I like them so much. So yeah, at number nine, we have the Nike Air Moabs. Speaking of more underrated sneakers, at number eight, we have the Nike Air Force One in the undefeated colorway. This one, for whatever reason, it was very underrated. And I don't know why, because this olive green or undefeated green is perfect. I feel that if you want a good collaboration that doesn't break the bank, that over time it would become more rare and prices probably would go up a little bit more. Or if you want a good fall sneaker, this is it right here, man. I actually worn this a couple of times in the fall time. And every time I look at my feet, I like what I see. It is a very good um, Air Force One as well when it comes down to the materials. So again, highly recommend it. At number eight, we have the Nike Air Force One in the undefeated colorway. At number seven, I have a New Balance sneaker. And let me tell you, man, New Balance had a great 2021, specifically with the 550 model. And I had to get these right here. The white and purple colorway to me was one of those that was a little bit more on the unique side. Of course, the white and yellow colorway was very nice as well, which I kind of regret not getting, but maybe I'll go back and get those. Um, also the white and green pair. Also the white and gray, which tends to be very popular and prices or reselling prices on those are very good. But the white and purple, man, it was just one of those sneakers that I don't have a lot of purple sneakers. I wanted something that matched my Lakers uh, gear. I like the new, uh, new Balance 550 model, so I had to get these. I feel that these are also very underrated when it comes down to the colorway, but the 550 model, as you know, is very popular and that whole popularity of the 550 is going to continue on to 2022 as I'm pretty sure New Balance will give us even more colorways. So at number seven, I have the New Balance. 550 in the white and purple colorway at number six we have a yeezy model and the yeezy line had a very good year they released models like the 450 more form runners 350s boots etc i wasn't able to cop some of the yeezy sneakers that i wanted specifically the foam runners but it is what it is this model that i got though at number six is one of those sneakers that also went under the radar but i was glad that i got these because they released it in the 
700 model right here. And I'm talking about the Yeezy 700 V2 in the cream colorway. Perfect, perfect Yeezy sneaker to go ahead and rock with essential sweats. Uh, perfect to rock it with shorts in the summertime or springtime, even the fall time because of the cream colorway. A lot of people thought that this was kind of like a salt colorway, but it is really not. I had the salt before and this is specifically a cream tan colorway. So if you like the Yeezy line, if you want a 700 model, which tends to be one of the most popular ones, although some people don't like them, that's, that's you guys, but I like this one. I also wore this on my fall lookbook. So if you haven't checked out my fall lookbook, go ahead and check it out. That way you get more fall outfit ideas, etc. But again, at number six, we have the Yeezy 700 V2 in the cream color. At number five, man, we have a Jordan brand sneaker that did not disappoint. It is a classic. It is a grail. And we finally got it back in 2021. I'm talking about the Jordan 4 in the lightning colorway. If you've been eyeing this colorway specifically right here, go ahead and cop. I feel that prices have already settled. They're not gonna go down anymore. Prices will continue to go up. This is a very special colorway. This is not a, like, a, like a bread colorway that will release in five to seven years. This will remain in the Jordan vault for many, many years to come since this is the second time it released. So I don't anticipate this sneaker coming out in a very long time. Either way, I got it because the Jordan 4 is one of my favorite models. I like it in the yellow. I've been wanting it for quite some time, so I had to get it for the collection. So at number five, we have the Jordan 4 in the lightning colorway. At number four, we have another New Balance sneaker, and I'm telling you, New Balance had a great 2021. And in 2022, I feel that they're going for the kill, and the 550 model is just gonna become even more popular. So I'm glad that I was able to cop these right here, the New Balance 550 in the AIM Landors, AIM Landors or AIM? AIM Landors, I feel, I feel that that's how you say it. If I didn't say it correctly, forgive me. But either way, these right here in the forest green colorway, fire. That's all I gotta say. But I'm gonna be honest though, when I first got them in hand, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep them or not. I was kind of going for the resale side of it. And the sneaker head in me, the love for sneakers kind of kicked in and said, you gotta keep this for the collection. And, I, and I'm glad that I did. I worn them already a couple of times in the fall time. And yeah, the 550 model is gonna be even more popular in 2022. So if you have a couple of uh, 550s that you've been eyeing, go ahead and cop because I feel that the other hype beast wave is gonna kick in and these are gonna become even more difficult to get. At number three, we have a sneaker that was very popular in the beginning of the year, but it kind of faded out a little bit as time went on. But a lot of people like this. I would say like 75% of the people like this colorway and the other 25% don't like it because of the material. The colorway looks good though. <laughs> My bad. The Jordan 4 in the taupe colorway. This one right here was one that I paid resale for. I got rid of some sneakers. I wound up getting these. I'm not sure what resale prices are right now, but I feel that prices are not gonna go down on these. If anything, they're gonna go up with time. Of course, it has a little bit of a Travis Scott feel to them. Some people just don't like this whole shimmery type of material. It's kind of rough or whatever. I don't mind it, to be honest with you. On feet, they look great. And you're not gonna be like looking at the sneaker like that. No one's gonna be looking at the sneaker like that. And even with this outfit right here, you know, you know what I'm saying? Look very, look, looks very good. Either way, the Jordan 4 in the taupe colorway is a very nice sneaker to have in your collection if you're looking for that brown type of hue. So yeah, the Jordan 4 in the taupe colorway is my choice for the number three spot. At number two, I have another sneaker that I had to pay resale for as well. I had to get rid of some sneakers just to get this one. And it's kind of sad because it is a Nike Dunk Low, so of course the hype is there, but the price on these, you already know, it's $100. So I gotta get rid of sneakers just to pay resale just for a hundred dollar sneaker that turns out to be almost 300. Not a good look, Nike, not a good look. But either way, man, I'm talking about the Nike Dunk Lows, black and white, AKA the pandas, the pandas. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. The Nike Dunk Lows and the black and white panda. I feel like I say panda like Kanye West, like when he said jacuzzi with uh, the Kim Kardashian meme, either way. These right here are fire. 
I pay resale for them, but I don't mind. You know why? Because it is a black and white colorway that goes with everything that you can wear all year round. And it is a good purchase. You're going to definitely get a good bang for your buck. I'm glad that I got this. At least I got a Nike Dunk Low for 2021 and it wound up being my favorite one. So here you go. The Nike Dunk Low in the black and white. It's my number two spot. Man, oh man. Just thinking about these sneakers right here makes me smile that's how you know that you are a true sneakerhead when a pair of sneakers makes you smile and arguably this is the sneaker of the year for a lot of people as well not just me i feel that it is the number one sneaker but you can throw in the jordan one travis scott fragments uh in the highs or in the lows um those of course have a lot of respect in the sneaker game but these were just executed perfectly and they go with everything as well so without further ado drum roll please we have the jordan 3 ama meniers this is the sneaker of the year and i'm going to tell you why execution wise flawless i'm talking about the colorway it's clean you can wear it all throughout the year the materials like the long hair suede the leather the interior right here making it feel all luxurious the colorway itself with the white, the sail, and the whole like purple mauve colorway right there. Nike Air in the back right there. You cannot go wrong with these, man. So if there's a sneaker out there that was executed perfectly as far as the collab is also concerned, this is it, bro. This is it right here. Sure, the Jordan uh, 1 Ama Maniers also look clean, but it doesn't have this material. I feel that the Jordan 1 Ama Manier, if I would have been able to get, it probably would have been in the top 10, but it would have not been top five. I'm gonna tell you that. Um, it is a clean sneaker, but this is the Jordan Ama Manier to have. So if you're able to get these, go ahead and cop. You're not going to be disappointed. Some people said that sizing is a little bit off because it is a woman exclusive, but I didn't find that to be the case for me and I'm a size 10 and a half, but yeah, man, the Jordan 3 Ama Maniers, in my opinion, is the sneaker of the year, and I have it at the number one spot. That's going to be it for today's video and probably the rest of 2021. Quick little life update. I got to give this update so you guys know what's going on with me. Um, if you have been noticing, I haven't been uploading consistently on a regular basis, and that is because I'm dealing with a personal matter. Uh, my father is not doing that great. And um, basically, a lot of my a lot of my attention has been going towards him, taking care of him, etc. Um, some of you might not know this, but I'm also a an only son. I don't have brothers or sisters, so yeah, all the responsibility falls on me. So I say that because I keep it real with my subscribers. Um, even though that I'm a little bit private, I wanted to let you know that. The channel's not going anywhere. I'm still going to upload videos, uh, just not as consistent for the time being. Uh, I have videos lined up as well, but sometimes, man, I'm only human. You know, emotionally, I get drained with my father's situation. Um, sometimes I don't have time because of work and my father and work and my personal life and my father. So you get the point. Sometimes you got to take care of those things that are more important. Sneakers are great. My subscribers are, are fantastic and thank you so much for the support, but you know, family sometimes does come first. Either way, if you believe in God, if you believe in something higher, just pray for your boy. For you guys, man, I wish you nothing but the best for 2022. I wish you nothing but good health. I wish that you and your family are great. I wish that all of you get the sneakers that you want for 2022 as well. But yeah, man, with that out of the way, um, I feel that that's pretty much a good life update for now. I will keep on uploading videos. Just bear with me for a little bit. Just be patient. I'm not going anywhere. They're just not going to be uploaded as consistent. But either way, man, have a good one. Have a good new year. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.